FF Day basically is a program that's goal, main goal is to uh, provide students with vocational and leadership education as long as, uh, as well as spreading the word about agriculture in general and the growing of food. Because nowadays with uh, more mechanization and urbanization, uh, kids are becoming more and more removed from the farm. So we think it's important to make sure that the general public is uh, in the know about where their food comes from. FFA means being a part of a leadership organization that really brings out the best in students and um, is able to uh, reach out to the community and um, just be involved with um, different things and being involved with the agricultural community. When I was a kid, my favorite thing about FFA was competing in the Ag Skills Contest, uh, getting on the bus and going to the university and competing against all the other kids in the state for whatever contest I was on, it, that was, and then winning medals and walking across the stage. I love that it kind of, it's a big family, like people come together and have fun, meet outside of school for competition activities, help each other out. Um, I love that it's kind of hands-on, more like going out and actually doing stuff instead of like math class, just doing problems all day. These classes, we get to go out and grow food or raise chickens and see how, this, how all this stuff works. FFA means to me a group of people that get together and we do things and we compete and we just generally have a good time together. Uh, my favorite topic to teach is actually uh, teaching students how to work with equipment safely. Uh, we work with a lot of equipment back here, uh, chainsaws, blo uh, uh, blowers, string trimmers, hedge trimmers, zero turn mowers, uh, tractors, uh, some basic uh, saws and things like that, pruning, but uh, giving them some, a lifetime skill they'll be able to use uh, for a long time. I think it's great to uh, see so many stuff, so much stuff get done. I have a, I have a great chapter. Um, one of the best things I like about being president is when I said, you know what, if you guys want to do a fundraiser, if you guys want to do an event, you can plan it. And uh, the members have planned many fundraisers and events and we've had a lot of fun. Um, I like being an officer because it gives me a little bit of um, control of some of the situations uh, or events that we host. and. Um, I kind of get to be behind the scenes with some of the stuff um, and um, gives me more leadership um, skills. So. Well, it goes all the way back to eighth grade. Uh, in the high school I was in, we had eighth grade introductory to introduction to agriculture. And what I liked was uh, all the hands-on type of things we did. It wasn't just reading books and regurgitating stuff from memory on tests. We actually had to perform things and we were tested on how well we, we, we actually performed the skills. When I was in eighth grade, I was at the eighth grade open house and I came here in the back room and I saw the mower, the lawn lawnmower sharpening blades, the fish tank, the hydroponics, and I thought, you know, this is something that's really cool. Um, I've seen it for my first two years at Slim. I've seen people wear it wearing the jacket and noticed the flag out in the hallway and wondered what it was, was interested in it. And um, my sophomore year when I was signing up for schedules, I noticed zoology and botany and that caught my attention and decided to take zoology, see how I liked it. Um, I wanted to join FFA because I had um, seen others who went through the program and I thought it would be a really great um, experience and um, I was also inspired by some um, of the people I know. Well, why should people join, uh, take an agriculture class? Or, or, and because they're, they're synonymous, because you cannot be an FFA, formerly known as Future Farmers of America, now it's just the National FFA organization, uh, because it, it's much more than farming. People, we have a growing population in this world. And as a result, people have to eat. Not only that, people have to be clothed. 
unless we're all going to run around naked. So uh, there's a challenge to meet that. And uh, the problem is 20% uh, of all jobs in agriculture go unfilled each year. So, so the demand for kids that understand the food supply, and I'm not talking about farming, I'm talking about food scientists. A food scientist can make very, very good money, and uh, most of them are, re are about ready to retire right now. So there, there's a lot of uh, opportunity uh, out there to provide the food and fiber that we need. Uh, managing our ecology, our environment, which is affecting our climate, and the things that we do with agriculture affects our climate. So there's a lot of challenges coming up, and uh, we need students to uh, get into those kind of majors in college and uh, provide the food and fiber and the environmental things we need for the world.